to sin in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us turn unto the altar of God and confess our sins through an examination of our conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness, let us recite together the second act of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my dear brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my dear brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, day by day, God, our salvation, who carries us. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your authority endures throughout all generations. May we who have experienced the resurrected Jesus speak of the glory of your reign, tell of your power, and make your mighty deeds known to all. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant unto the soul of your departed handmaiden Wanda Corber forgiveness of all her sins. May our devout prayers obtain for her the pardon and the resurrection promised by our Savior. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. On this, the sixth Sunday of Easter, the first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in the city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them and they, that they might be filled with the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm today is taken from Psalm 66, and the response is, Let all the earth cry to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God all the earth, sing praise to the glory of his name, proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you, sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice with him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who refused me not my prayer of his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The second reading for today is taken from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence. Keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in the Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This Thursday, the Christian Church will celebrate the ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 40 days following his glorious resurrection. Prior to Jesus being taken up into heaven, we read in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 5, that Jesus tells his apostles that they will soon be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Looking back at what our blessed Lord said to his apostles at the Last Supper, as found in the Gospel of John, there are several references that Jesus makes to his first chosen concerning the coming of the Holy Spirit among them. Quote, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. End of quote, taken from John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17. Quote, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. 
end of quote, taken from John chapter 14, verse 26. Quote, when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. End of quote. Taken from John chapter 15, verse 26. Quote, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said, he will take what is mine and declare it to you. End of quote. Taken from John chapter 16, verses 12 through 15. The Apostle John, who is recorded as reclining next to Jesus at the Last Supper, found in John chapter 13, verse 23, testifies and bears witness to these words, as an advocate, a comforter, a bearer of truth, a teacher, and a guide, this indwelling Holy Spirit promised by Jesus was to bring to them the understanding of yet another aspect, a oneness that they will have with the Father as Jesus had that oneness with the Father. In John chapter 17, verse 21, we read, Jesus praying, Father, that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. But Jesus is not just speaking to the apostles of the Spirit, but to all who were to follow him. He says in John chapter 14, verse 1, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. In his words, Jesus is telling all of us this day, that we may all have that realization of that oneness, that unity, which God brings through the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 17, verse 22 and 23, we hear Jesus continuing this prayer. Father, I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul speaks of the church as one body in Christ, of which we are all a part of. For he writes in his first letter to the church at Corinth, chapter 12, verse 12, for just as the body is one and has many members, and all are members of the one body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. In a sermon of Blessed Isaac, a monk and abbot who lived in the 12th century wrote, When all are united with God, they become one God. What Jesus is by nature, we are as his partners. When he is of himself in all fullness, we are as participants. And finally, what the Son of God is by generation, 
His members are by adoption, according to the text. And because you are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, taken from the letter of Paul to the Galatians, chapter 4, verse 6. My dear brothers and sisters, it is through the, this giving and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit promised by our Lord prior to his ascension that we also learn through the writings of Paul that we are heirs through God. And so as we commemorate and will commemorate this Thursday, the Lord's Ascension, may we all come to know of this indwelling spirit in which we are baptized into the faith. And may we find inspiration as found in the first letter of John chapter 3, verse 23 and 24, who reminds us, and this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit that he has given us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. My dear brothers and sisters, today as we will offer the sacred gifts unto God, let us remember in our prayers the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the homeless and the hungry, the unemployed. For all sick, abused, and neglected children in our world, for all those who serve in our armed forces, and for our own intentions this day, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Alleluia. Mm -hmm. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask that you receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they, whose memory we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name, to our good and to that of his holy church. Let us pray. Merciful Father, send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts as a sure pledge of your heavenly kingdom. May the same Spirit bear witness within us that we are your children and heirs of your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty Father, accept these gifts we offer to you in faith and trust, and may this offering unite us with your Son's offering on the cross, and bring to those to whom we remember in prayer this day eternal life. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right and just so to do. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, especially at this time when he became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us. And by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating very humbly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You have formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy you came to our help, so that in seeking you we might find you. Again and again you called us into covenant with you, and through the prophets you taught us to hope for salvation. Gracious God, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time you sent your only Son to be our Savior, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful joy. To fulfill your purpose he gave himself up to death and rising from the grave, destroyed death, and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us. He sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe, to complete his work in the world, and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified, having loved his own work, who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them, he took bread, and when he had given thanks unto you, Father, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of of me. We now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting his coming in glory and offering to you from the gifts you have given us. This bread and this cup, we praise you and bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember Anthony, our prime bishop, Paul, our bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth.
Remember all who have died in the peace of Christ, whose faith is known to you alone. Bring them into the place of eternal joy and light, and grant that we might find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with our ancestors in faith, with the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and saints, who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, all honor and glory are yours, creator of all, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And now let us pray. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food, and may the gifts I have received this day bring me healing and strength, now and forever. Amen. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit that the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything <clears throat> and remind you of all that I have told you. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Grant us the spirit of truth, that we who have received you in this blessed Eucharist may know that you are in us and we in you, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist we are reminded that our Lord Jesus who rose from the dead, brought eternal life to those who believe. May our departed sister, Wanda Corber, whose anniversary of death we honor this day, be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you, my brothers and sisters, and may we ever grow close to the grace that God offers to each of us. Thanks be to God. Let us go forth this day and walk in the Spirit of God. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I thank you for spending time with us as we worship Almighty God. I know it has been difficult times, and we are waiting for a time in which we might be able to come together as a congregation. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you, that you all may remain safe and healthy for you and for your loved ones, that God watches over all of us through his holy angels. Today, let us offer a final prayer for all the victims of the coronavirus, for all those who have passed, for their families, for all those that are impacted with this virus. 
and let us offer prayers this day for our faithful departed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And let us pray for the repose of the soul of our faithful departed sister, Wanda Corver, as well as all those who have passed unto Almighty God. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh,